Verkhovna Rada deputy Andrei Levos, the former deputy head of the Ukrainian Security Service, made this claim in the publication Tishdeng. I think Putin is conducting an offensive, not an offensive war. We should understand that and not just build a buffer zone, but think about governing two men. It may seem emotional, but this is the direction we should think in, Levos said. Similar statements have been heard from the former Ukrainian commandeers and now Rada deputies Semyon Semyonchenko, Igor Masychuk and Yuri Bereza. Bereza said the Ukrainian army should go to Moscow and conquer Kuban. It's not clear Levos wants war with Russia or just uses drugs. Pro-Kiev punitive battalions operating in Donbas have been increasingly blocking aid supplies to the region and must be brought under control to advert a humanitarian crisis in the area, Amnesty International stressed Wednesday. As winter sets in, the already desperate situation in eastern Ukraine is being made even worse by the volunteer battalions preventing food aid and medicine from reaching those in need. Denis Krivosheyev, acting director of Europe and Central Asia for Amnesty International, said as quoted by the organization Wednesday. Amnesty International stressed that the so-called volunteer battalions, which often act like renegade gangs, need to be brought under control. Russia's investigative committee is investigating a Russian newspaper reported alleging that a Ukrainian military jet shot down Malaysian Airlines passenger plane MH17 over the eastern part of Ukraine last summer. Investigators have talked to the editor-in-chief and journalists of the Komsomolskaya Pravda newspaper and have taken the contact details of the Ukrainian citizens cited in reports, spokesman for the committee Vladimir Markin said. He added that the witness would be interviewed as a part of the Russian investigation into the use of banned weapons and methods of warfare in Ukraine. The information he shares will be cross-checked, he added. Washington despises offensive messages about its leaders, U.S. State Department junior Psaka Mary Harf has announced. There are horrible things written and said and made about this President Barack Obama and this Secretary of State John Kerry in the United States and elsewhere. Well, we hate them and we will speak up against them, junior Psaka said Tuesday when asked if the United States would object to a movie about its president's assassination produced by another country. We hope Psaka did not see horrible demotivators about Obama and the United States. She will not stand it. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.